Hi, my name is Roxy and I'd like to welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this very beautiful and easy dress with granny technique. Uh, this dress hasn't any shoe and we work circular without any turn. It's very simple and very easy. See? Um, okay, so you can make this dress for anyone, for a child or for an adult. Just take your measure around your neck. I use crochet number 2.5 millimeters uh, for European size or C for US size. For uh, this dress I use 7 skein with Alize Real 14 Batik. Uh, each skein has the meters and the yards. So, um, if you don't have this yarn or if you don't uh, can to order online, I buy this yarn for a store. Um, you can use a thin and very, very soft yarn. This yarn has, okay, you see, okay, here, has 60% acrylic and 14% wool. So, if you use a similar yarn, um, so uh, regardless of, of the size, just keep in mind um, that is a combination of three because we use granny tray technique three stitch three double crochet in the same stitch okay uh, the front and the back front and the back should have the same number of stitch but to divide a three the right and the left also should have the same number of stitch to divide of three. The right and the left side must have six or nine stitch less. So, for example, if you have for the front and the back 13 stitch for the right and the left you must have 24 or 21 stitch if you make this dress for a child the, the difference between front and back and left and right uh, is six stitch for an adult nine stitch now i will show you how to make this dress i make a mini dress with another yarn this is variegarded yarn now i make with um, simple yarn. Uh, 
uh, it's very very soft yarn this yarn is um, Alize Diva uh, with silky effect so this yarn for a mini example uh, each skein has the meters and the yards okay now for mini example I chain 48 plus 4 in total I have 52 chain the 4 stitch in plus is for the 4 corners so chain so many stitch you need for your size and then plus four for the corners and then one moment join with slip stitch into the first chain Okay, chain one and make single crochet in the same stitch and into the next stitches all the way around. So this is the row number one. You make single crochet in every stitch and we will meet at the second row okay so i finish i almost finish the first row with single crochet in every stitch we join with slip stitch into the first single crochet and chain two. I'm I chain only two for double crochet. I like more. So chain two and in the same stitch make two double crochet. One and two. Chain one and in the same stitch make three double crochet one two and three this is the first corner now i make nine stitch nine double crochet for the part for the shoulders so you make the part for the shoulders with the number of the stitch for your side okay so one So I make double crochet in every stitch for the shoulders. Now we need to make 
the second corner into the next stage make three double crochet one two three chain one and in the same stitch again three double crochet one two and three this is the second corner now we make the part for the back so make double crochet for the number of stitch you need and we will meet at the next corner okay now i finish the part for the back and now it's time to make the next corner in the next stage make again three double crochet one two and three chain one and again three double crochet into the same stitch so we have for now three corners one two three you continue to work now the number the stitch you need for the shoulders part make the next corner and then make the part for from the front and we will meet at the end of the row and i'll show you the next row So I almost finish my row. Now we join with slip stitch into the second chain. And we make three slip stitch until you reach at the corner into the chain one space. So, one slip stitch, two slip stitch, and three slip stitch. So, each row begin and is finish at the end at the corner not here not here let's begin at the corner and it's finish also at the corner so now we make the row number three chain two and discount like one double crochet and make two double crochet one and two chain one and make three double crochet one two and three now skip two one two into the third chain make three double crochet it's a granny technique it's very easy 
now skip two one two into the third make again three double crochet one two three again one skip to one two into the third make three double crochet two and three and again one two Keep two and at the corner make three double crochet, chain one and three double crochet one, two, and three. So, continue to work all the way around. So, skip two into the third, make three double crochet in the same stitch and repeat until you reach at the corner. At the corner, make three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, and continue and we'll meet at the finish of the row. Okay, I almost finished this row and again join with slip stitch into the chain two. Okay, with slip stitch, make two slip stitch and make sorry. one slip stitch two slip stitch and three now the next row one two is count like one double crochet and make two double crochet chain one and three double crochet one, two and three now it's more easy from now on we make three double crochet into the space that created Okay, so three double crochet in every space. One, two, three, and again. see very very beautiful now I uh, make more rows and then I will show you how to join these corners to form the space for your arms you uh, can make so many rows you need to obtain your size for uh, okay and the space for the slate but this dress is not 
too large so don't make uh, many many rows just to obtain your size okay and then I will show you how to join the corners to form the sleeves now the first part on this dress is almost ready so make so many rows as you need to obtain your size for the front and the back and your space for the arms now after you make so many rows as you need it's time to join the corners to obtain the space for the arms okay so join your slip stitch into the second chain make sorry make three slip stitch one two and three until you reach at the corner you see uh, how beautiful is joined the row almost doesn't see and now join the corners chain two one two and make two double crochet chain two is count like one double crochet so we have three take the next corner yarn over and make again three double crochet one two and three so this is the first join and the space from the arms is formed now continue to make three double crochet in every space until you reach at the next corner and we will meet when I finish this part, okay? So, so I work until I reach almost at the corner. At the corner, you make three double crochet one two and three okay take another corner and make again three double crochet one two and three and now continue until you finish your row and then I will show you how I join and the next step so I almost finish this row when we join the corners so join, join with slip stitch 
into the second chain and now I need to begin here in the middle and I make one two and three slip stitch I make three slip stitch only at this row from now on we we work circular and we don't need to reach in the middle because we make now so chain two one two and make two double crochet okay and continue to make three double crochet in every space until you finish the row when I finish the row I will show you how to join okay so I almost finish the row we join with slip stitch into the second chain okay and chain two one two this two chain it's count at this row uh, at the last double crochet of the last group of three here it is the end of the row the next end of the row okay so chain two and into the next space make three double crochet and continue until you finish your row and then I will show you how I join now I almost finish the row and uh, here where I make chain two you make two double crochet one two and join with slip stitch into the second chain okay chain two one two and in the space make two double crochet so one row is like that I chain two and in the same space make two double crochet and one row is when I join a slip stitch into the second chain and I chain two the chain two is count like the first double crochet at the last group of three okay so now you continue to work so many rows as you need until you obtain your size and uh, until you reach the waist when 
we will reach the waist. I will show you how to increase. At the waist, we make the first increase. And I show you how to do that. Now, I finish this part and I reach at the waist. Uh, and now, for example, if you don't want to make a dress, it's okay. Continue to work uh, until you reach the, uh, the desired length. And then make the edge that I will show you when I finish the skirt. Make the sleeves and the edge around the neck and your sweater is ready. But now we need to make some increase and then we make the skirt. Okay, so chain one and in the same stage make one single crochet. In the next make again one single crochet. In the next make two single crochet. In the next one single crochet. In the next two single crochet. In the next one single crochet in next stitch two single crochet so one single crochet into the stitch in the next stitch make two single crochet so one single crochet two single crochet in the same stitch this is an increase and we will meet at the finish of the row. Now I almost finish this row when we make the increase and uh, I want to show you how it is the join. We see it's very very beautiful almost doesn't see. Now, so I finish the row when we make the increase and we join with slip stitch into the first single crochet. Chain one and the next row is single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So single crochet in every stitch and then we work the next row. I finish the row with single crochet in every stitch and now join with slip stitch into the first single crochet chain two is count like one double crochet and uh, skip two one two one two into the third make three double crochet from now on we work with three double crochet in the same stitch, skip two into the third stitch, make three double crochet, two and three, one more. Skip two, one, two, one, two, and three. Okay, 
So here where uh, we make one single crochet, two single crochet in the same stitch is the first step an increase. Next step is so if you make this dress for a child make eight rows. If you make this dress for an adult make 15 rows and then I will show you the next increase. The next increase is not like we make here. We increase with a granny stitch. Okay? So, for a child make 8 rows, for a, an adult make 15 rows. I make only 4 rows because it's a mini dress. And then I will show you how to increase. Okay? Now, after you make 8 rows for a child or 15 rows for an adult, it's time to the second step of the increase. And I will show you how to do it. So, if you make for a child, make five group groups of three double crochet. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? If you make for an adult, for, uh, make nine group of three double crochet. So I make five group of double crochet and I'll show you how I increase. One group, two, three. five. So, for a child make five groups, for an adult make nine. And now we increase. Yarn over and here into the second double crochet of the group of the previous row, insert your hook and make three double crochet one two three this is an increase in the next space continue to make three double crochet and when uh, we make the next row we make here Normally, group of three double crochet here and here. Okay, so make again five groups of three double crochets. So, 
one two three four five here into the second double crochet make again one group of three double crochet continue to work all the way around and don't don't matter if you don't have uh, five groups or nine group remains at the end of the row because I want to only make a some increase okay when you finish the row join with slip stitch and continue to work now if you uh, after you make the second step of the increase we make five five rows don't the matter if it is for a child or for an adult so after the second step of the increase make five rows then we make the last step of the increase and is almost the same with the mention we make for a child six group six group of three double crochet and in the next chain two we make again one group of three double crochet so six groups of three double crochet for a child or ten groups of double crochet for an adult and then continue to work until you reach the, the, the desired length and then I will show you the edge how to make the edge and how to make the slave okay now I finish this part of my mini dress you can crochet until you reach the desired length and then we need to make the edge the edge is the same at the skirt at the slaves when we finish the slaves and all the way around on the neck it's very simple very easy so the edge chain one and make three double a uh, two uh, three single crochet sorry one two and three chain three one two three and in the third single crochet here insert your hook and join with a single crochet again skip one skip one and into the next make one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and again chain three one two three and in the third single crochet insert your hook and make again skip one and make three single crochet into the next three stitches again chain three one two 
and three and into the third single crochet insert your hook and this is the edge I work all the way around and then I will show you how to make the sleeves it's very beautiful easy decrease okay so I almost finish my edge and uh, all you have to do is join with slip stitch into the first single crochet then cut the yarn make a slip knot and then take a yarn needle and hide, hide the yarn okay now we need to make the sleeves you see look the edge is very very beautiful simple and beautiful and easy now the sleeves make a slip knot and take your dress and we begin here not here and not in the middle here insert your hook and from the back and chain two one two chain two is count like one double crochet like uh, we work still now and make in the same space two double crochet and continue eh? to make three double crochet into the every space until you finish your row uh, the last chain three is here now for the normal slave like this you see uh, we need to make four, uh, three rows and at the row number four we make the decrease. If you want a large slave you make five rows and at the row number six you make the decrease. I make three rows and one row decrease. So, continue to work all the way around and three rows or five but always when we make the decrease we begin you make the decrease when uh, we make chain two and this count like uh, first uh, last double crochet at the last group of three i make three rows and then i will show you how to decrease so i make three rows one two three so once again if you want a normal slave make three rows and one row decrease if you want a large uh, slave make 
five row and one row decrease. Now, row number four, chain two, okay, and this count like a last double crochet at the last group of three, okay, and now continue to work normally. One, three, until here. Let's work three group of uh, work uh, group of three double crochet until here, and we'll meet here, and I will show you how to decrease. Now I almost finished my row and we need to make the decrease. So work until here. See? Into the into this space make one double crochet. Here into the second double crochet of the previous row make one double crochet and then join with slip stitch at the chain two at the beginning of the row and this is on decrease okay chain two and in this space make work normally and the last group of three double crochet is here so I'll show you once again okay so chain two work until here, here you make one double crochet, skip one, one into the second chain or into the second double crochet of the previous row, make one double crochet and then join with slip stitch into the second chain. Chain two and continue to make again three rows or five rows. I work until I finish this wave and then I show you the finish, my finish mini example for this dress okay so I finish and the slip and the second slave and the mini dress mini example is ready it's very cute and um, I hope you like and the original dress and uh, you see it's very easy but at, it, at uh, this dress is a lot of work especially at the skirt but I think what most important is the result so I hope you like my dress and uh, we will meet at the next project and uh, it is a blouse it's also very very easy and very beautiful and till that now I 
Thank you for watching my video and bye bye.